Ellen is on the line from St. Albans. Hello, how are you? Hi, Ellen, how are you? Oh, good. I'm sort of semi-retired, you know? Uh, so, so I'm you, not at school today, believe it or not. So you're not the lunch lady? No, I gave that up. <laughs> okay. Well, first of if all... You're it, begging me to come back because you know how sweet and quiet I am. Um, yeah, yeah, and I mean, they want me to come back, but nah, I've been subbing at school a little bit, but now lunchroom duty is done for me. You have you have retired the hairnet. Yes, yes. Yeah. 22 years in that cafeteria was quite enough. Ellen works up at uh, BFA St. Albans and is a big part of the Boosters Club up there as well, which you guys, uh, uh, I know BFA St. Albans, and we're going to be talking with the kids as par- part of that uh, Powder Puff uh, football game later on in the yep. week. But you guys, as part of the Boosters Club, uh, raised some money as well for Camp Tecumta. Yes. And it happened yes. in that brand new building that you've got up there, uh, which is yes. right next to the football field. And I know you guys had a pretty successful night uh, that night of the night of the Powder Puff yes. football game. Yes, we did. Yeah. So, and we want to thank both of you because you both came in and really helped us working because you know how busy it was there. Yeah, yep. it was fun. We have a great time doing that. John was yeah. out uh, and, uh, scooping popcorn and I was helping with drinks yeah. and it was a good time. I've become a semi-pro yep. popcorn bagger. <laughs> yeah, you, you, you'll probably be second to Bob. Bob is the popcorn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he's the man. Yeah. But you could be second to him. Okay. So I know, Ellen, uh, you've got a, a donation to, to, that you're calling in this I morning and, and putting a challenge we out as well. Donation. We have a donation of $1,300. Wow. Awesome. That's a lot of popcorn. In, in, in memory of Grace, yep. Emery, yep. which we all, that's who we, you know, that's our girl. So right. yep. we do it in memory of her. And I would like to challenge other PTAs, uh, booster clubs, PTOs, whatever, to donate to Camp Tecumta to help the kids. Um, any any amount will be helpful. I know, you know, we did a little bit more, but that's because we have great kids, kids that, um, you know, at the football games. So, but any PTO, PTA, booster club, any of them, in memory of Grace Emery, I would love for them to donate money to help a kid go to camp. And, you know, there are a lot of them out there, too. You said, uh, all yep. the, the the different schools and high schools, they've all got one of those organizations around. And yep. uh, if you can reach into into your pockets there and send a little donation to Camp Tecumta, maybe you've got uh, some kids that go to your school uh, that go to Camp Tecumta. Uh, how about making a, a little donation in, in their name uh, this morning and in Grace's name as well? Yep. Uh, you know, it was miserable the night we were there. Ellen, uh, it was so cold and it was raining and it was pouring, but the stands were packed and you guys sold a lot of hot chocolate and a lot of drinks and a lot of popcorn and stuff. And uh, that $1,300 is wonderful. Thank you so much to you and the whole crew up there. One thing I like about about the the Powder Puff is Mm -hmm. it's its own entity. It's not a halftime thing. It's a real game. The girls from both schools work so hard for so long to make it there and like you said the stands were packed it was like a regular game yep. it and really was it's always, amazing we always have great people there it's amazing how many people come out i mean it's standing room only and around yeah. the edges of the field and and the girls play serious hardcore mm-hmm. flag football i mean there's there's no holding back at this game no. and the no, sportsmanship no, no, no. is excellent and uh you know you'd think they would get a little uh heated but yep. because they know because that it's they're rival schools, so. they're rival schools, but they know it's for these kids, and yep. and they've got their hearts in the right places. And I got to tell you, when you hear stuff about high school kids, this comes to yep. mind when I hear about high school kids. I'm like, well, you haven't seen the BFA MVU kids. They're they're yep. they're, they're great they're kids. Awesome girls. And the, and, and the boys do and their part. The, know, the boys, boys do their part the on the sidelines. They, a little bit. Yeah, so the boys, uh, uh, football team. Helps the, helps the girls get ready for the game. So it's a, a valiant effort, and I think both schools should be very proud of themselves for doing this. Well, we're going to hear from the crew from the Power Pub football game. I think they're coming to the radio station on Wednesday this year, so that'll be uh-huh. uh, that'll be fun to hear from them. And, uh, Ellen, thank you so much to the Booster Club okay, up there. The only other thing I want to ask is, who's getting the fruitcake? Oh, that would be me. That's John. Okay, that would be you. Well, he's got them all ready. Okay. Awesome. Uh, Ellen's husband Bob <laughs> makes fruitcakes. At he Christmas doesn't time. just make fruitcake. He ma- he actually makes edible, yummy fruitcake. <laughs> yeah, this isn't yeah. the stuff that sits so, on the kitchen counter the, yeah, until January. Done, so when we bring the check down, hopefully 
I'll be coming down with him. It depends on whether or not I have to sub, but. If I don't come down, he will come down with the check and the fruitcake. All right. You're, you're always welcome. You know that. <laughs> yeah, All I right. Yep. The okay. challenge Good is out there. We get some donations. That's right. The challenge is out there from Ellen and the and the there Boosters Club at uh, BFA St. Albans. So uh, there you go. Thanks so much, Ellen, for that $1,300 donation this morning from the BFA St. Albans Boosters Club.